What is up, everybody? It is your boy Pinto, and we decided to, well, I decided to start over brand new series of this because I have learned a lot as well as learned a few tips to make the game a little more stable. So, without further ado, let's hop into it. Um, so, some small things, and they suggest this just as a way um, to kind of minimize any chance of anything going wrong, which um, I am 100% game for. Um, some small things were to um, make sure buildings are just not right next to each other. Um, just This is all in the name of just making sure um, there are no... Eliminating, I guess, best wording would be to eliminate any chance of something going wrong. Um, we'll put... There we go. Um... Okay, we'll connect that to there. There we go. So, um, first things first, we need to get two of these vehicles, as well as one, uh, one more of those. And honestly, oh, we have just enough for another stand. Okay. So we should have just enough money for. Um, we're gonna make sure the uh, road is connected first before anything else, and then taxiway. Perfect. Um, now we're gonna run with two vehicles because I don't think we're gonna have to worry too too much off the bat. Um, we're gonna really uh, be able to. Uh, we should be fine on having everything um, run off of two vehicles. I think it shouldn't cause too much of an issue. Okay, I think we're good for our first. So we're gonna go ahead and fast forward till we get our first flight. Awesome, and we'll bring that into ramp number one. Okay, can we change the names? That's another good. Uh, question hmm so one two three interesting that's something I think we'll probably see in the future it'd make a lot of sense to be able to change names oh and uh, let's go ahead and speed up helps to get out of it being paused and there comes our first aircraft Woo! and while we're working on that we are going to um, uh, we're going to save up for an office um, the only other thing we're going to buy is a third mail truck. And we're moving. We have a pretty good uh, pattern going. What I might do, though, is I kind of want to... There we go. So let's unpause for a second. And now... We'll do that. So that should also speed things up. Because theoretically they should come in. I'm think I'm hoping at least it makes sense to the taxi in this way and then leave that way. So he's getting refueled. And then we have plenty of room to probably expand two more gates over here. Okay, so now we have enough to afford. There we go. There we go. So we, we might bite the bullet and invest in one more fuel truck just because everybody seems to need fuel. And one fuel truck, especially traveling from all the way over there, 
is going to take a long time. Now, ultimately, we'll probably end up flipping things. And, uh, I don't know. We might not. Hope that's something we see in the future. Um, I'm not for sure, but I imagine we'd see, uh, I, well, like I said, I know I've seen videos where it looks like we have multiple level um, terminals, so I'd imagine we could probably do some uh, multi-level stuff, so it'd be nice to be able to have, like, roads go under and, ha like, come out up here. So, parking slot and shop. Perfect. So, that should help speed up some of our turnarounds. And we're still going to save, like I said, after, at this point, our best bet is to save up for an office because, oh, so unfortunately I can't take that, but we are going to take that big boy coming into ramp one. I thought I accepted him. I guess I didn't. Not the end of the world. Can't take these because we don't have cargo unlocked yet. Um... But we have plenty of vehicles moving. And okay, and now we have two uh, two gates, so we're going to bring them to three, just for sake of time saving. So, I'm trying to th see, just gauge off of, I still feel like these are probably the most profitable in the long run, just because of how fast we can turn and how little logistics they require. But these big ones also do nest more of a profit. So less, more work, but also simpler work, I guess, might be the best way to look at it. Okay, so it's 1,600. We have plenty of, uh, or 1,300, sorry. So we're running good. We have $600. So up first is office in priority office, uh, one or two researchers, and then more gates. So we have these guys going. They just require a lot of uh, turnaround time. So we're gonna try and get some of these non-fuel ones in, just to speed it up. However, once these things get going, we'll we'll be making that bank. Because what's he waiting on? Uh, he'll get loaded up and then he'll be good to go. So we'll bring in these small guys. So I think the other issue is we don't have um, trucks big enough to do these guys in one trip per. Which isn't the end of the world. But it is loading up it looks like, which is good. It is very good. Yep, see, it has to make two trips to load mail. So that guy's almost done. Bring him in as fast as possible. Can't even take those. Ramp two is open. And there we go. So these, we're going to get some fast turnaround aircraft in. This all it needs is mail and maybe an occasional. Um, oh, I brought in a big boy. Oh, well. One big boy's not going to hurt us. I hope, or at least I don't think it will. Oh, that's nice. We can uh, move to the gate. Didn't know that. So we're going to take out that big boy because we're not going to bring him in. Okay, he'll load the mail and he'll be pretty much good to go. Awesome. Now let's get this going. We'll get an office. Oh, that's cool. Um, office there. And we're going to get one researcher. And... Cargo terminal going. That's what I want more than anything is a cargo terminal. And do we have a spare gate? No, we don't. What's he waiting on? Uh, oh, to load the mail.
So I think we're only able to get maybe one more wave of flights in. Um, for it is time for airport the airport to close for the night. Because we close at 1900 and I don't want to risk having aircraft stranded here. So we're not even going to take fuel ones. We're going to take... Uh, it's 1722. We're actually not going to take anything. Once this big boy gets out of here, we will call it. Yep. And after this, we will be done for the night. So we'll cancel all of those. And the last guy is gone for the night. So... Nope. We are missing out some money, but um, I don't want to risk it because one thing I'm worried about is may we. I don't know if it's going to completely shut down, or we might end up. Um, I know a possibility in some other games I've seen is where it will allow you to take off, but it penalizes you. Because um, in real life, you can get a, se a severe penalty for operating outside of your assigned hours. So. We have five hundred dollars. How much is a, a sand is two fifty. We have one. I think would be just enough to do two dams. I think. Let's see how much this stand costs us. Yes, we have just enough uh, room to do that. So, mail and fuel there. And we're going to, do we have enough? We don't, unfortunately. We're just shy, which sucks. But, you know, fortunately, can't do anything about it. Um, I'm trying to think. We could flip this and have the entrance be over here, but it would kind of flip up the pattern, which sucks. Mm -hmm. We'll look at this for a second. So the airport should close now. Yep. Daytime work has ended. During late hours, you'll be unable to accept. Wait until the morning for flights to continue coming in. Use this time to focus on improving other aspects of your airport. Well, we took care of this. Um, I don't think there's actually much for us to do besides this. Um, let's see, how much would it cost to go ahead? Oh, crap, why did it do that? Oh, poop. We can do that. We're just going to have to wait till tomorrow. Which isn't the end of the world. And if we'll do it, we'll probably attach one more sand. Although this numbering is 1, 2, or 3, 1, 2, 4. So, kind of, eh. So, what I'm probably going to do here, guys, is I'll just do a uh, quick little cut. And then what we'll... Oh, wait. Hold on. We can fast forward to the next flight. I think. Hold on. Let me pause. I just want to see what the night looks like around here. We're also going to do, we just did a quick little auto save. Oh wait, do we, uh, well that's not very straight. Oof. Alright. I did not realize that last time it looked like we'd have to do a cut. Okay, so fuel resupply, buildings, vehicles. So it costs us about $500 to operate. Not bad for the first day. So we're going to have to make that up. So I think, perfect, we can start accepting. Of course, we can't accept that. So I'll get some aircraft coming in. There comes the first one. And the one really nice thing I've said before is the small ones, we can turn fast, we get them in fast, and also bit less runway time. Because those big ones have to go all the way down here, turn around, and come back, which kind of sucks. But it's not the end of the world. So we'll get him in and boop. Yep, see. 
So I mean, it almost more, more than effectively doubles the amount of time they are current. They are uh, on the ground. So and then we got those two takeoffs. However, during the day, these big ones, they can be quite profitable. Can't take those because they're cargo. I wish it, that's another thing I'd like to see. Um, it's not a huge detail. It's more um, quality of life. Is I'd love to see it them not offer. Like, we clearly can't offer cargo. And so it'd be nice if they just didn't toss it, like, give us the option to. Okay, we'll bring in that guy. He'll be a fast turnaround. Um, we definitely need to get some more vehicles. So, okay, we have that one free. We'll bring him in to gotta get rid of that. Now we'll bring in the big boy. Ah, if I click it, there we go. There we go. So now we have four mail trucks. And I might go, I might, uh, I don't know if I want to pick up more than that too. Um, our next 200 is going to be spent on investing. Actually, I'd like to spend 400 on researchers um, because we need that. Like, we really need to increase our research. And then probably another mail truck and another fuel truck. So here we go. So that takes, we still have 10 hours left, so we should get that tonight, which means we need to actually save up money because we... We have to, I think it's about a thousand dollars to get a, uh, um, a cargo center going. So we need to keep that in mind. Um, another thing we're going to do, we're going to pause for a second. Um, okay, we're going to do that. And then we're going to destroy that. And actually right there hopefully that doesn't mess up our AI pathing it might but hopefully it doesn't I have faith in this game okay it seems to be going good we we'll bring that in we we'll cancel that that we can't accept that can't accept any of that okay um, we still only have we have two fuel trucks um, Get one more fuel truck in a second. Can't. We can bring in that guy, that guy, and that guy. And we're not going to invest anything else because we have cargo coming. Thankfully, we're still turning planes relatively fast. Uh, we're not going to take the big boy after this this late in the day. The big boy is going to take up way too many logistics for us to be able to effectively turn more aircraft. But we have plenty of these small planes, and they earn us a lot of money, too. Somebody just texted me. Like, I'm in the middle of recording. Do you mind? I'm trying to be a professional YouTuber, Pinto, here. So, not accepting that. Can't ex I mean, we just can't accept it. But that 254 is just, oh. I can't wait till we can accept that. Um, we'll do this. That should help smooth things out. Uh, oh, crap. Oh, no. I accepted the big boy.
Okay. Hopefully, we can uh, we can turn him fast enough. We have two and a half hours to get him going, and we are gonna get this guy, and that's it for the day. Because none of these guys require fuel. I mean, I'm good. Let's see. Uh, I want to see. Okay. Oh, it's almost turned. It just needs to load up mail. No. You know what? We'll go risk it for the biscuit. To try and get. Can we turn a small plane in an hour? I think we might just be able to. Come on. Perfect. And no get out here before closing. I hate kind of playing it safe like that, but we played it relatively close to minutes before closing. Let's see, cargo terminal, three hours. So, perfect. We're going to pause for a second. The cargo terminal. And, um, crap, just minimize the game for a second. We will get a vehicle here. Shop. Perfect. That leaves five hundred dollars. And you know what else that leaves us? This leaves us a perfect time to cut this episode and call it a wrap for episode one of our new playthrough of Skyhaven. Uh, early look pre-alpha, I guess. Really is what we can call this. So thank you to everybody for stopping by. And if you like to see, and drop a subscribe and drop a like to let me know you want to see more. Till next time, have a good one. Goodbye. We got my relationship